Is there a biological reason for a seven-day week? The answer is next on today's Creation Moments. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. According to the Bible, God created all of creation in six days and rested on the seventh, thus setting the pattern for mankind to follow. If the Bible's account of creation is just a myth, or if the days of Genesis chapter 1 are figurative, why is the very fabric of man's existence tied to the seven-day week? The Hebrew word Shabbat means seven. It comes from the root word which means full or complete. Not only is this word the source of the word Sabbath, it is also related to the word seven in several languages, including English. Even the Chinese from ancient times have used the seven-day week. Yet today, the seventh day of the first lunar month is known among the Chinese as the birthday of mankind. Science has also learned that one of our most basic biological cycles is tied to the seven-day week. Researchers also found measurable impairments in subjects who were denied one out of seven days for rest. They also found that no amount of experimental coaxing could change this built-in seven-day cycle to six or eight days. Evolutionary researchers admit that they do not know when the seven-day week started, but the origin of the seven-day week is clearly presented in Scripture. The seven-day week shows that the days in Genesis chapter 1 are not make-believe, nor are they figurative. They are the revealed truth of God. To get a complete set of transcripts from Creation Moments programs, ask about the book, Letting God Create Your Day, when you visit us online at creationmoments.com. And join us again for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing the word of God. It's what we have heard, not what we've seen, that helps us grow in faith Romans ten seventeen. So if you want to grow in faith Listen to God's word And you will grow in faith Because of what you've heard Faith cometh by hearing And hearing by the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God.